Gardner is the 16-year-old boy. He's met less than 15 people in his life. What if no one knows I exist? I'm raised by scientists. He knows about Earth. Hey, Tulsa. I'm out of here the second I turn 18. I just wish I could go with you. And he knows it's all happening without him. This young man has already been directed by Martin Scorsese and Tim Burton and starred opposite Harrison Ford. Wow. Here to talk about his latest movie, The Space Between Us, please give it up for actor Asa Butterfield. Hello. Hey. Welcome. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. So you're feeling a little under the weather, but thank you so much for joining That's us. That's all right. It's the, it's the cold. It's the, it's the Canada cold. It's, it's the Canadian cold. That's yeah. right. It is frigid today. Um, so tell us a little bit about this movie. I watched it the other day. It's so beautiful. Thank you. Um, what can viewers expect? Well, it's um, it's a, it's quite interesting because it's kind of got a lot of different genres it's juggling. I find um, it's what really interests me about the script. It's it's got the science fiction backdrop, yeah, and it's it's kind of telling a, a love story. But I think more than anything, it's it's like a coming of age film. It's about this boy coming to Earth to kind of figure out who he is and uh, and figure out where he comes from and how to be like a human being because he's so kind of different. Yeah, like an yeah. outsider trying to fit in, right? Yeah. Um, so you play Gardner, Elliot, who was born on Mars. <laughs> I mean, that, that's an interesting storyline in and of itself. Um, tell us a little bit about the training that you went through to kind of like, you know, look like you'd never experienced gravity before. And... Um, well, there's, uh, there was a few things. Coming from Mars to Earth, I mean, I found out is the change in gravity makes you feel a lot heavier. Yes. Um, so both me and Carla, who played uh, played my kind of foster care mother, as you are in the film, we would, we would walk around with big like, weights on our ankles and some sandbags strapped to our chest to oh my God. feel like twice as heavy. And then we'd walk around and kind of jog and have someone film us whilst we were doing it and, um, and then look at the footage, kind of analyze it and try and recreate it without any of the weights on. So it was a really kind of a different process I've had to, to developing that physicality. Well, I would imagine too you've you probably um, developed muscles while exercising in that way. Yeah, right? muscles you don't usually use, I yeah. guess. And um, <laughs> yeah, you get a lot more tired. Something that I notice is just, I mean, as you'd expect, but just something like walking upstairs suddenly takes so much effort. Yeah. And um, it was all things I was kind of thinking about when uh, when developing it. Um, there's a scene also, I don't want to give too much away, but you get to operate a really cool vehicle out in the, out on Mars. How much yeah. fun was that for you to... <laughs> that was, that was pretty cool. It was kind of like a golf buggy, but on steroids. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and we were, we were shooting in Albuquerque, which kind of is a bit like Mars in a, in a lot of ways. Um, <laughs> and we're out in this quarry, just like, and they just said, yeah, go for it, just go like... Do donuts. And I was like, but All right. it, I mean, it was so cute too because you look like you. I mean, you do that every day, right? So you kind of had to contain your excitement, I would imagine. A little bit. Yeah, a little bit. I think they use the later footage after I've got all of my excitement out. <laughs> oh my yeah. You're doing donuts? Yeah. Donuts in Albuquerque? Donuts. Um, you also, Gary Oldman is also one of the stars in this film. I mean, you've worked with so many, uh, you know, legends and icons. What's that experience like for you? Um, working with Gary? Or? Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I have worked with a lot of amazing actors. I've been very lucky to. Gary would come to set every day. With a, I mean, as with everyone I found in this film, everyone is very passionate and, and committed to telling the story. And when you have an actor as kind of as amazing and, and well regarded as Gary, you you might expect that he carries a certain ego, but he's mm -hmm. totally not like that. He comes on and he, he just wants to play and he wants to be creative and yeah. he makes everyone feel at home and comfortable and, and he's a great laugh. He's hilarious. Is he? Which I did not expect. Was he cracking jokes? or? He was the joker of the set. <laughs> like, did he pull pranks on you? What happened? Uh, not so much pranks, but he's just got such a wicked sense of humor. Yeah. yeah. Well, Asa, thank you so much for sharing this movie with all of us. Um, you guys should go check it out. The Space Between Us opens in theaters Friday, February 3rd. For more info, head on over to breakfasttelevision.ca. Thank you, Asa.